Gambler was very pacey when he came for training. You can see here he's doing a stepping pace. Watch as I'm bouncing in the saddle. This is not very smooth, and he would rarely ever be smooth on his own. His neck is a little high, and you can tell he's a little bit holding himself stiff. You can see how both right legs swing t forward together. Uh, they do land just separated, but this is a stepping pace, almost a pace, and is very uncomfortable to ride. In just a sec, you'll see how he's doing after two weeks of work. This work included continuing to ride him in the snaffle bit. It does not include any weights or any mechanical means of training to get this. A lot of relaxation, changing the footfalls, and praising the horse when he does the correct gait. Here you'll see him after two weeks. His gait is not perfect, but he has made a lot of progress. As you listen to it, it's almost perfectly four beat. Here it is in slow motion. Watch as the back foot lands a lot before the front. He is almost moving a little bit towards the trot, but it is very smooth to sit. Notice how my shoulders aren't bouncing up and down at all. Again, ridden in the same bit and a huge amount of difference after just two weeks of training. This is Moki. He was a fox trotter and he trotted. Lots of trotting. Not very comfortable to ride at all. You'll see him just start trotting here. The trot is just slightly broken up, but still very uneven, hard to even post to. His head was off and up, and he didn't know how to give to the bit. You'll see here how it, the diagonals are moving forward and landing together, or almost together in this case. See how he sticks his nose out? He was very resistant to any giving of pressure vertically. Uh, I worked on that first, asking for vertical flexion, asking him to relax. He was a very well-trained, very well-behaved horse, but he didn't know how to gait correctly. We worked a lot from the walk, getting him to drop his head, lengthen the top line, and relax. This relaxation is the huge thing that helped him to start gating correctly. Again, ridden on a snaffle bit the whole time. After two weeks, here's the difference. Not perfect and a little bit pacey, but much better. Very smooth to sit, uh, and he's a lot uh, more relaxed, carrying himself a little better. Again, a little bit toward the pace, but definitely smoother and really making a lot of progress. Thank you for watching. This footage is a preview of a gated training DVD I will be coming out with this summer. If you would like to be notified when it is released, please be sure to click on this link and sign up for my free email list. This will also give you access to free training videos, articles, and other information. These are a couple of videos here that I have done that give you an example of the kind of training and progress that I have made with different breeds of gated horses. I hope this has helped, and I hope you subscribe and continue to watch.